He's a so-so deaf music producer and a filmmaker who has his first short film under his belt. He's also an author and a master barber. He's modest, he's unassuming, but he's up to big things. He does all of that right here in our own backyard in Columbia, South Carolina. And that's why Big Vic, Victor D. Newton, is an under the radar star. Though I know you're really glad my little ways didn't quit. Victor started pursuing his career right out of high school, but his big break came 16 years later when he answered a very important offer. You know, so, um, Jermaine Dupree from So So Deaf, he had he was looking for music for an uh for an upcoming artist that he was working with. And he put out an email address and instead of me sending my music to the email address, I decided to send a video, video of me making a, a, a beat from scratch, mm -hmm. and he actually watched it. I didn't know he watched it, but uh, some of my subscribers on YouTube that were subscribed to my channel, you know, they all started congratulating me, telling me that I had, uh, they started congratulating me on the JD situation. I'm like, what JD situation? What are y'all talking about? Artists contacted me through my MySpace page back when I had MySpace. I don't have a MySpace account anymore, but back then I had a MySpace. His artist had contacted me, told me his exact words were da da da, and the winner is Big Vic. Uh, contact me, we need to get your information. And shortly after that, I, I sent him my, my, my cell phone number. Uh, he called me up. I was super excited, like I could not believe it. And he was just telling me how JD was watching my videos my, on my YouTube channel you know, all night and was saying I was just using a little keyboard back then. Didn't even have this set up. I had a little teeny computer just working, you know, doing my music. And he said, if, he said, JD said, if he made this using that little keyboard, imagine what he could do if I got him in. A true artist at heart, Big Vic's interest quickly grew to include producing movies. And you have a fabulous... Um, Movie, yes, um, kind of a movie short, would you say? Short, short yes. film, a short film called Fade Away. And I had the pleasure of, um, of, of checking this out. And I have to let you know, it is a very well produced um, film. Thank you. Yes, it is very good. Nothing you need to let this go, they let us think I'm crazy, and so is every other girl in the club. Huh. Get an abortion. So, what was your motivation for this movie? Uh, uh, actually, uh, while you know, while I when I first got my deal with with So So Deaf, but before I got my deal with So So Deaf, I was already kind of establishing myself in the community uh, as far as shooting music videos. Um, I knew I wanted to do a film. I wasn't ready to do a full feature film, so I wanted to kind of experiment with a short film first. And I actually had that the script for that film on my desk for about almost two years. A friend of mine. Um, and it was a great script, especially dealing with um, the HIV, the, the, that whole epidemic. So I felt like, you know, uh, people really needed to see this film, you know, or just get a dose of reality. Now, you are also a, um, an author. Right. You have an e-book. Right. Tell me about your e-book. You really are doing it big. My, my, my <laughs> e-book came... The name to of me, it's name called of? it's called Street Smart Guerrilla Marketing Tactics, and that ebook was geared towards people that are in the in the the music industry, but most people can take what I put in that what I wrote in that ebook and apply it to almost any type of business that they're building. Even though Big Vic has many talents, I want to know where his true passion lies. And but you also a barber. Right. I, I'm looking at your hair and how well groomed you are. I mean, so so somebody's in the chair every other day. Yeah, yeah we try to keep it fresh. Yes, keep absolutely. Fresh. Now tell me, so what is your hustle? Is barbering your hustle, or is the entertainment industry your hustle? The entertainment industry is really my passion. Barbering was something I selected. I chose to do that would allow me to be able to pursue other things instead of really being tied down to like a uh, nine, a real corporate America nine to five per se, so. It allows um, you the freedom. Yes, yes, and I, I need that. You're doing big things. You have a long list of accolades and accomplishments. How have you remained under the radar? I kind of like it like that. I know you 
you do. <laughs> So there you have it, Big Vic, Victor D. Newton, So So Deaf music producer, filmmaker, author, barber, and this week's Under the Radar star. Ready or not, here we go with information so you know.